You know how to make the most of Venus Retrograde? Well, in today's video, you're going to learn five different ways to make the most of this special time. Hi, I'm Trish McKinley, Lifetime Psychic and Goddess Coach for the past 25 years. Listen, using the natural cosmic flow helps put you in the right place at the right time. So how can you do that with Venus Retrograde? Well, here's the thing. Venus covers love, beauty, money, the finer things in life. Retrograde means hold up, take a look, let's review. And in Gemini, ha, huh, communication, fun, and spontaneity. So here's a countdown of five ways to make the most of this magnificent energy. Number five, the finer things in life. Look around and see what items do you already own that you would consider those luxury items. Now, for me, there was a time when even a special candle was that luxury item. It held special feelings. If you see over there, my pink pillow, it was a splurge. So what around you will represent your luxury item? Have that in your space, let's say your bedroom, wherever you're gonna be most of the time, have those items represented because they're from your past and you're pulling that positive, loving, wealthy energy into your future. Number four, beauty. Here's the thing about beauty. I know you might be thinking, oh, beauty's not, you know, beauty skin, how do you, how do you say that again? Beauty. <laughs> We're not even gonna worry about the other part. Here's the thing about beauty. Don't do any drastic changes. Use this time to go back like when you were younger and you used to play with makeup. You used to explore new looks. You would allow yourself to try things outside of the norm. Maybe you haven't worn your hair a different way in years. You maybe try parting on a different side. Maybe just tuck a little bit behind your ear. Watch makeup tutorials on YouTube. There are so many great ones. In fact, I've even linked some below in the description. Number three. Use this time to celebrate all of your relationships. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, the thing is, when you celebrate all of the relationships you're currently in, then you attract more great relationships. You celebrate those past great memories that you've already made, then you're going to attract new great experiences. You're going to be attracting new, better clients. You're going to be attracting great new opportunities to have and memories to make with your family, with your friends. It's a win-win situation. So pull out those old photos, pull out those old memories, get together and celebrate. Remember, the sooner you start celebrating, the sooner you're going to be attracting more great experiences into your life. Number two, Venus retrograde in Gemini is a perfect time to do all those things that you've been putting off in self-care. You have been thinking about going back to school. You have said, someday I'm gonna take that bubble bath. You've been saying you were gonna read that book for how long? Well, Venus Retrograde in Gemini is calling you out. This is the time to spoil yourself. So put on that hair mask, put on that fluffy robe, snuggle in and read that book. Explore that career. Binge watch your favorite show. When you indulge in that self-care, that me time, that making you a priority, then the universe is gonna notice you and notice that you are a priority. Your vibration is higher, which helps you manifest easier and faster. And number one, Venus retrograde in Gemini is gonna help you figure out a matter of the heart. What's blocking you from your blessings? What's keeping you from achieving your dreams? This is the time to figure that out so you can release it and get on with your dream come true. Get in a quiet space and then ask yourself, show me what's holding me back. Maybe you'll have a thought that suddenly pops in your head. Maybe you'll just have a knowingness. Whatever it is, trust the response. Your soul is communicating with you. Is there something in my past, the way I grew up, that's blocking me from loving, accepting, and appreciating myself? Is there a past message that I am keeping present that's blocking my blessings? Did I do something that I am still blaming myself for? And maybe I haven't forgiven myself. Let your soul identify whatever it is so that you can release it and move on. Once you have those things, write them down so you don't forget so that you can then do a little release ceremony. State to the universe, and you're gonna state that loud. Say, I release, and then fill in the blank. 
you're gonna release every sing single one of them. So let's say you've been holding on to um, some unforgiveness because of that time that you um, said the wrong thing. You know, maybe you're keeping track of that. So then you would say, I release my memory around the event where I held on to blah, blah, blah. Then after you say that, go to the next one. I release blah, blah, blah. I release and list them all out, releasing the whole kit and caboodle. And then the next sentence would be, once you've released everything, say, I accept and love myself just as I am. And you're gonna say that three times. I love and accept myself just as I am. I love and accept myself just as I am. Now, if you have a rose quartz, hold that in your left hand while you're doing that too. That's just gonna bring in more love into yourself and into your heart. If you don't have a rose quartz, that's totally fine. Do it anyway, say it anyway, release, and then once everything is released, say, I love and accept myself. By doing that, you are shifting your heart vibration and you are making the most of this Venus retrograde. To recap, use this Venus retrograde in Gemini to bring in more abundance by surrounding yourself with the luxurious items you already have. Number four, update or explore new looks in beauty by having fun, watching makeup and hair tutorials, and experimenting. Number three, celebrate all of the relationships you're currently in and open the door for new healthy relationships to come right on in. Number two, indulge in finally doing what you've always wanted to do. And number one, use this energy to love yourself. Forgive yourself from the past and move on to a fantastic future. So you have five different ways you can use Venus Retrograde and Gemini. Comment below, let me know which one will you do. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.